I fell in love with Riley. Um, although she went through a traumatic experience and she, you know, was pretty much retreated into herself, we see her rise above it, right? Mm -hmm. We see her come into back to her own, if you will. Um, explain how you tapped into those emotions of the character. So Riley was a really interesting part on the page mm -hmm. when you're reading the script because she really does start and is written at the beginning as being so passive. And um, at first it actually frustrated me quite a lot. And then with the progression of the story, you understand what she's been through and why she is the way she is and who she used to be. Right. And so through talking about it with Sophia, it was really, really wonderful and cathartic to go on this journey with this character um, to see her overcome something and through the solidarity of her friendships um, she could understand that she had the right to fight and get her voice back right. um, and so it was really really beautiful to come across a, a role like that um, and to take that story all the way through and the other characters as well you see them all change mm -hmm. um, and uh, adjust as the story goes on and come up um, in different ways show their strengths right um, so yeah, I just thought it had really great elements in the script. This film zeroes in on what it's like to be a woman in 2019. Mm -hmm. How much of yourself would you say you identify with, with your character? Did you completely drop yourself and go into Riley or did you take pieces of yourself and your experiences to get into your role? I found that there were so many access points with this character. Mm -hmm. Um, and so many emotions and feelings that were totally relevant to me. Um, we've had very different life experiences and what has thrown up, but in the sense of being women in this era, the idea of not taking up too much space right. when you're, the pitch of your voice rises when you talk to men. Um, things which, in a way, because they're so old, we perceive them as being natural, right. that are totally ingrained in the social and cultural framework, and that is across the board with gender and race and class um, and sex. And I do think that, in that sense, playing her, I really, really could identify with those parts um, and how things that you, in the past, considered forgivable or normal, you can uh, revisit and understand that that was not right. What would you say this remake would resonate with? Is this for, I asked Sophia earlier, is this for the fans that watched it in 1974 or even in 2006, or is this for a different viewer because of the messaging? Right? Sure. I think it's interesting, isn't it, with marketing with a film, because the idea of choosing who it's for is, um, is very difficult to do mm -hmm. and gauge who will turn up to this kind mm -hmm. of film. Um, it would be great if fans of the 70s version were on board with this one, but um, this isn't catered necessarily to uh, a past um, cultural framework. It's um, talking to the generation now and the generation of women and men coming up to understand the insidious uh, nature and, and harm of misogyny mm -hmm. and the patriarchy and frat culture, fraternity culture right. on campus in America. Um, and I think it's a film 100% for teenage girls. Gosh, I'd be absolutely over the moon if they got to see this. And Sophia was the one who told me that a lot of horror audiences are made up of women. Yes. But it's also for men too, because I think we see characters in the film, we see female characters who are complicit with the patriarchy. We also see men like Caleb's character who are very much rebelling against it. Right. So I think that um, there's a lot of nuance in the film too. Um, I definitely think the film would do well on college campuses because of the rape culture aspect in it and just showing that. Also, what are your plans for Christmas? Are you doing anything special? My plans for Christmas, I'm going back to London. Before I go back to London, I'm seeing Little Women in New York, which I'm really excited about. Um, but then I'm going back to London and I'm gonna see my family. That's, I'm gonna hang out there. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Well,